Did anyone else get that horrific thunderstorm last night? I think it rained pretty well. The old gutters overflowed in the shed. Jesus. Got this boost. Hopefully we'll get some oak fitted tomorrow and we had an idea of using this for transporting and lifting them onto site because it's a really controllable arm they can obviously lift boom out in go left and right and like a telehandler that's got to go in line and lift from the center uh, should be a really good tool for getting the beams in place and like I say you can cart them there on the trailer and then lift them in place George reckons it's going to be easier if we take these back sides off and there's a little extension on the back of it he reckons it'll be more manoeuvrable to get them to the house without them on so just going to take them off there goes a bit more pocket rocket now than uh, limousine. Got to load these beams up for fitting. Some bits I could do with having done already, but I'm going to get over to site. While the weather's nice, it looks like it's going to be dry until about two o'clock. But looking out the door there, customers really adamant that doesn't want these to get wet. Anything above the post level wants to remain dry so that it doesn't get any water staining on it. So George has made me this plate last night while I was editing the video. Good old boy. It's for lifting the posts in place, save breaking our backs while we're lifting these vertical posts onto the saddle stones. He's come up with this uh, plate, put the bolts through the uh, peg holes and uh, lift it through that eye at the top. in on the outside. As I move forward I've got a boom in to get the rest of it out. process of getting everything ready for the first day on site and the first day of fitting the project. Not stressful but you just got to keep your head and try to work through your job before you get there and make sure you get all the tools and all the little bits that are going to make it work. It's quite often stupid things like crowbars and step ladders that you forget that make your life really difficult if you don't have them with you. He'll do that. Morning, Vern. Driving 500 miles from Birmingham to North East. So we've got all these pins set with some stainless rods instead of uh, mild steel because it's just going to be a problem. I was worried about them expanding and cracking the stones but they tapped out dead easy so we've changed them. I've set my laser over on that one and then measured down to my finished floor up to where my beam wants to be and then the distance off the top of these stones so I know the height to cut all of these off now just got to get them off the van and uh, cut up to length
just gonna have a spot of lunch. The weather's terrible. Like, looks like it could rain any second, but gotta eat at some point. But the first one, right, sits down really nicely on that stone. Um, perfect pin placement, a, quite a tight drill hole. But uh, before I left, I thought, how can I align these pins? But I cut a bit of hardboard, the same size as the post and the staddles. And then uh, cut a cut a hole with the drill I'm going to be drilling with. Just put the two together, obviously line everything up when you've got two hands, and just uh, take them off. You can use that on the bottom of your post and mark your hole dead accurately. It worked really well for that first one, so as long as you go off the right face, it um, doesn't matter if the pins aren't in the middle and there's no measuring involved, really quick. I've just put a concrete screw through the back of the tenon where it's not going to get any moisture. A bit of packer on the t tongue up there. So we've got a little bit of a gap just to allow it to you know move a little bit if we if it needs to so there's about five mil gap to the brickwork before the oak's touching it and i've sanded the bits that we can't get to to sand once it's all finished Place. Slip the braces on. I think we'll start with getting that tenon in, then lifting this end up, working our way down the beam. We'll put this one on when uh, that one has just started the tenon in the beam. Lift that one on and uh, drop the beam down onto it. I should hold it all in place. it's gone pretty well just got this beams a little bit long so i'm going to cut a little bit off this end so that all the posts go back upright because it's just being held by that brace stopping that joint from going down because it's slightly out of level so pull it all back level should slip down nicely we'll see
the old mistake on him. Bastard. Barely even notice it, but I mortis too much. It's gonna sheet it to stop the water getting on the beams. So we've screwed some battens around the corbels, um, around the saddle stones and uh, put some boards on the top just to wrap a tarp all in over and then fix it in along the bottom hopefully keep a bit of air flow through them so they don't go mouldy but stop the worst of the water getting on so all this top section doesn't get water marks all over it and the same down this one here bit of effort now but hopefully it saves a lot in time follow me here i'll show you around this uh this crane they use it for logging for carrying trees about and uh it's on like a hook lift, the, the trailer's a hook lift bed and it's got a power finger on it with a, they've got a log grab attachment which we took off earlier. So the yellow arm there's got a big hook on the end of it and then there's rollers on this flat bed so you can like lift that up and it pushes the bed off the back of it and you drive forward and drop it down so you can drop this deck on the floor and change whatever style of trailer you want on the back of your tractor. So it sits on these rails and slides out down there. The guy who we've borrowed this from has got a YouTube channel as well, so I'll link that down below. It's like a wildlife channel. He's got owl boxes with live cameras on. It's sort of, I thought it was sheared over, but it's obviously not. So I've got a little bit more work to do, but I'm trying to get this tractor out. a bloody good thing to have to be fair.
It's not loads of room, but it's out. I didn't get any footage of the tarpaulins once we put them over the beams, but I'm sure I will show you how we did it in another video. Um, yeah, started at seven this morning, eight o'clock finish, pretty much grafting all day. So uh, sleep tonight. I will see you at the next one.